Okay, so as kind of a last general topic in the class of digital communications, I wanted to briefly introduce some ideas from information theory and error control coding. So all semester in this digital communications class, we've been worrying about getting bits of information to point from point A to point B. We've done a lot of analysis on as the signal is arriving at the receiver, as additive noise or other interferers interfere with that signal, it's possible that the receiver makes a bit error. And we've mentioned a few times that in general, a real digital communication system is gonna do some type of error control coding to add in some redundant bits to try to mitigate the impact of those bit errors. But we haven't done anything in detail in terms of error control coding or things like that. So in this video and the next few videos in this playlist, I wanted to introduce just a handful of topics. First, what we'll do is we'll spend just a few charts talking about the area of information theory, which is a very broad area, contains lots of very interesting topics. And specifically in there, there's this concept of channel capacity that we will introduce briefly and discuss. It's basically the maximum data rate that you can communicate at reliably over a channel. And by reliably, we mean with arbitrarily small bit error rates. So we'll talk about what the channel capacity is. Within the realm of information theory, there are several, you know, kind of sub-disciplines. There's something called source coding that you can go spend, you know, a whole semester studying. There's error control coding, and there's lots of different subjects within both of those. We're going to focus just big picture on one aspect of error control coding called block coding. So we're just going to go pick out one very small subtopic in this whole world of information and, and look at block coding just a little bit. So as I mentioned, you know, information theory is a very general term that encompasses a very broad range of uh, things that you could study. Most of the time, you group it into two broad categories, what we call source coding and what we call error control coding. Source coding is the process that you go through to kind of compress data on the fly so that you're transmitting as few bits as possible. If you're doing source coding correctly, you will reduce the amount of data that you need to transmit as optimally as you can, as much as you can, without really getting rid of any information. And if you do that properly, the kind of resulting bit stream will have equally likely ones and zeros. So a lot of times in the class when I say, hey, let's just assume that we have equally likely zero bits and one bits, really what we're kind of assuming there is that source coding has already been done properly to ensure that that's happening. Kind of the other broad area within information theory is the area of what's called error control coding. And that's almost the opposite of source coding. In source coding, you're taking original bits, trying to compress it down to as few bits as possible, so the number of total bits that you have to transmit is smaller. Error control coding is kind of at odds with that. What we're gonna do in error control coding is we're actually gonna add in extra bits, what we call redundant data, but we're gonna do it in a way that we can help detect and correct bit errors if they happen to occur. So this is what we're gonna look at a lot in the upcoming slides. Just so you know, you know the things we're gonna discuss here, we're gonna discuss a little bit on the superficial level. You can take gra multiple graduate level classes in information theory. You could take a whole course, or maybe even two courses on source coding. You could take several graduate level courses on just error control coding. So this series of videos is really just scratching the surface of the things that you might want to go study, but I think it's at least good to introduce some of these important concepts into a few examples. If you never get to go take a class on info theory or source coding or error control coding, you at least are familiar with some, some big and important ideas. So in the next video, the next thing we're gonna look at is we're gonna talk about something called the channel capacity. We'll start there with this very fundamental idea from information theory.